In this video, I am going to review the Loan and Interest Calculator app found on the Google Play Store. It is a financial app I've used for many years. I used the free version of this app for many years before I decided to go buy the pro version of it so I could get rid of the ads. This is not a sponsored video, and the app was certainly not given to me. I bought it because I really liked it. Over the years, I've recommended the app to people who might be interested in it, and it turns out they seem to really like it themselves. This app is a great tool for when I'm traveling around out of the office. I use this app for the purpose of being able to create a loan amortization schedule to be able to show and email to others. Over the years, I've looked at many loan and mortgage loan apps, and I have to tell you, there are many of them on the Google Play Store. And for me, most of them are just too basic, and they're generally crappy because they are overloaded with ads, which is very annoying. Specifically, when I look for a loan and mortgage loan app, I want to be able to generate a loan amortization schedule, which allows me to see the principal and interest breakdowns for every single payment for every year throughout the term. I want to be able to print the amortization schedule, I want to be able to save the amortization schedule, and I want to be able to share the amortization schedule. Now there is a downside. For those of you who are iPhone users, I don't think the developer has created an iPhone version. So if you're an iPhone user, I'm sorry. So let's get to it. In order to create this video and for me to show you the features of this financial loan amortization app, I had to install an Android emulator on my Windows 10 computer. I wanted to be able to clearly show you the features and the screens without you having to watch me swipe and press on my phone. What I've done with the Android emulator is set it for a vertical screen, very much like if you were using the app on your phone. So I'm in the Loan and Interest Calculator Pro. I'm running an Android emulator so I can better show you the screen and the app. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Loan Basic button here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in a $200,000 loan just to make it easy. And we're going to put it in at 3% interest. And we're going to make it 30 years. So when you calculate it, you will see, as in most loan and mortgage loan apps, they will give you the big picture numbers. All right, so there's nothing really special about this. However, what is special about this app is this. Take a look at this, how it's nice and clear for each of the 30 years. You can see the amount of principal and interest paid and the loan balance at the end of the year. Okay, taking it further. If we click the monthly option, take a look at this. Each and every payment that you make, you will find a corresponding principal and interest paid entry. And you can see year two, year three, year four, and so forth for all 30 years. This is what I have been looking for for a long time, a loan amortization schedule that's presented in a clean way. Now, I don't use the graph that much, but it is sort of interesting to see. You get to see how much uh, principal you're paying on this 30-year loan. Uh, it's approximately 66%. And the interest you're paying for the 30 years is approximately 34%. And if you want to see how the trend line works, you've got that too. So you can see that the loan balance gradually um, goes down over 30 years. The amount of principal that you pay go up, and interest slopes off. Now we're going to go back to the input screen. Let's say that uh, we want to run different scenarios, but we don't want to have to keep keying these things 
over and over. So we can type in a lo save loan, 200K loan, 3% interest, 30 years. Click OK, right? Now you can check that by seeing this here. So if I jump out of the screen, back to the main screen, and I go back in, I won't need to pull it all up again. I just go to save, and you click open. Isn't that great? So I can't actually show it to you right this second, but when you email it, there will be two reports that will be generated, which I will attach to this video. Scenario number two that I find very helpful is going into the advanced function. So same scenario. Yeah, we'll stick to the $200,000 just to make it simple. Same thing, 3% interest, 30 years, except this time we're going to tweak it. All right, so as I make this video, it's March 11th. So I'm going to make my first payment, let's say April 1st. Here, what I want to do is, because I'm not interested in paying this mortgage for the entire 30 years, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in an extra $100 a month. Oops. And I'm going to start with the second payment. I'm not going to start with the first one. So I'm going to save that. And I am going to calculate. Now here, as you will see, it's the same principal and interest payment of $843 as in the previous a scenario, except that this time you'll see that there's extra payments being made through the life of the loan. It tells you that if you pay an extra $100 a month, your 30-year loan will become a 25-year, three-month loan. This app very nicely tells you that you will have reduced your 30-year loan by four years and nine months, and you saved $18,000 interest. I find this very cool. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to the report. Once again, as you can see, with the extra $100, you get a different set of results, okay, for each of the years. Now notice that is only going into the 25 full years, and only part of the 26th year by simply paying an extra $100 a month. Again, another thing I love about this app is the monthly report. I can drill down and see what the principal paid and interest paid are by putting in the extra $100 a month. And I'm only gonna scroll down to five years worth, not all 26 years. Same thing, go to the graph, and you can see there's the principal. You're only you're paying 60% here. The interest is a slightly less than 30%, and these are your extra payments here. Now, once again, if I want to save this so that I don't have to pull this up again, I will simply go to the bottom, save the loan. 200k loan 3% interest a 30 year loan which isn't going to be a full 30 years if you do an extra principal payments every month and we're going to put $100 extra payment click OK so you see, it was saved successfully. You can go back and verify. All right, so if we hop out of here and we go back in, we should find the loan parameters that we saved. So I'm gonna go back into the saved loans right here. And I'm gonna scroll all the way down and I will click email results. Now, because I'm using an Android emulator, I don't actually have access to my Gmail and my contacts, but I will attach that 
into this video so you can actually see the report. Early in the video, I told you that when you click the email button, it sends two reports. And I want to show you what those two reports look like. So this first report is the yearly report. Now, if you recall earlier in the video, what I did was I put in $200,000 loan, 3% interest at 30 years. And I put in a loan start date of April 1st. I wanted to make extra payments of $100 a month over the course of the 30 years. The extra payments of $100 a month comes out to $30,100. Now, because you're making extra payments, you are accelerating the loan. Therefore, you're not going to actually make 360 extra $100 payments. But in any case, look at this wonderful report. I really love it. This 30-year loan ends up becoming a 25 years and three-month loan. It tells you approximately when the loan end date will be and so forth. And of course, at the bottom, it tells you that your savings, you're, you're shaving off four years and nine months by paying an extra $100 a month. And as you can see, when I scroll down, you will see a nice clean report of the breakdowns. Now keep in mind, once you display this, you can print this out to a PDF report or you can print it out to paper. The second report that is emailed to you when you click the email button is the monthly report. Again, same parameters from top to bottom. All right, but the difference here is when you scroll down, take a look at this, it's doing a month by month breakdown all the way through and of course it ends up being a very very long report if you want to go all the way but again it's nice to have it and this is one of the reasons why i like this app so much and that's it for the demonstration of the loan and interest calculator pro app made by rk apps it can be found on the google play store if you enjoyed watching this video Please do me a favor, please like and subscribe to this channel and leave a couple of comments. Thank you.